Having an opportunity to visit the indigenous communities, the Datoga, the Hadzabe, provides them the glimpse and provide them the first-hand information of how the life of these communities on the ground looks like and what environmental challenges they face. Joseph Awe, he was born and he raised here. So he speaks their language, he understands them. Ono Akanabe Ayametobawa Azanokoa Ong A. My name is Ong A. Engila Kai Ong A. Seeing how they live, like all our ancestors do, was really life changing. Lad cone is this hook. They also use for the small animals, but the size of rabbit, mongoose, uh, hyrax. Amazing to see like how simple their life is and they're like uh, how closely they're living with the nature. <laughs> Learning their language and how how interested they were to teach us their their language and then they uh, took us to the hunt and it was it was really good. They didn't necessarily have like houses or cars or like all the things that you see in the modern world but at the end of the day they were enjoying their life, enjoying being around each other, enjoying where they are. So I think that's one of the best lessons that I can learn. This is one of the messages for the students is to understand that people are not outside of nature, they are in nature. And it's in our Western society that we have this idea that we are not part of nature. So this is what indigenous cultures can offer us another way forward. We can learn from them, we can modify our Western ways and maybe live in a more sustainable way.